We are going to talk now about a part of the circuit that you will find in an inverter board, and this part is why many say that it is essential that we have a ground wire in inverter air conditioners. What do we mean by ground? The third wire of the electrical installation that has a connection to a spike. And why do many say that it is essential that inverter air conditioners have a ground wire? This is one of those reasons. To begin with, I will tell you that an inverter air conditioner can operate without any problem even if it does not have a ground wire. You can record that in your mind and do not forget it. An inverter unit will operate without any problem even if it does not have a ground wire just like any other appliance. The most important function of the ground wire is the protection of people. In another of the modules of this course, it is clearly explained how the ground wire works together with a circuit breaker to never allow a person to be electrocuted with an appliance. But inverter boards also have an additional feature. Inverter electronic boards have a connection to themselves from the ground wire, but this is no longer for the protection of people. Although the equipment will still operate the same even if there is no ground wire, but I will explain why this is and also other components that are surrounding it. Well, I will make a diagram and then follow up on the tracks of these external electronic boards. This ground wire can also be found in the interior boards mounted on the board. We had said that at the entrance of the electricity, We had on one side a fuse and a varistor. Here's where the ground wire comes into play. In inverter units, we are going to give ourselves a little more space so we can draw it well. In inverter units, what we will have now is a slightly more complex circuit. Always alternating current and then we go to all the components that you already know, double pi filter, then comes the rectifier, etc. But in inverter units, we no longer have this, but something a bit more sophisticated and of better quality that does not allow the voltage to enter into a short circuit and the fuse blows. But it tries to divert this power whenever there is high voltage, excess of high voltage, it tries to divert it to the ground wire so that the circuit breaker trips. So what you will find is, we will not have this varistor here joining the two, but a varistor here. And here another varistor. Here we are going to go to a fuse. And here is where we are going to go to the ground wire. Here the circuit continues and everything else, but what is the purpose of this? If we have normal voltage positive and negative, they continue their path and feed the equipment. But if we have excess voltage, it will be diverted Through one of the two varistors, we will jump this fuse, we will cross it, and we will go through the ground wire, and the circuit breaker will trip. The circuit breaker will do is to trip and de-energize the equipment, thanks to this circuit. This protects it against high voltage. The system is good, well done. This that you are seeing here is a... I will put it in a different color and write it here. It is a vacuum device that does not allow any high voltage or better said does not allow any discharge from any other appliance to enter the inverter board. If another appliance is short circuited or better said is grounded that to enter through the equipment to the board and so that this does not happen here there is a vacuum device. This device allows the passage of electrons To that side, whenever from this side it detects a very high voltage, a kind of lightning or of spark is produced inside and it is diverted. When there is very high voltage in one of the two line and neutral, it diverts through the varistors and goes through the vacuum device to the ground wire and the circuit breaker trips. 
Well, this vacuum device and this circuit we are seeing here, of course the fuse is always there to act, but in reality the idea is that the fuse does not act and that this works and the equipment is de-energized in that voltage surge. The system is good, well thought out. It is not definitive and absolute, but it is a good system. Now we will see it on the electronic board directly. Look that here we have an inverter board. And here we are seeing the varistors. Span class equals QL cursor and we are seeing here the vacuum device slash span. 